Well, hello people, and welcome back to part 90. Can you believe it? Part 90, everyone, of Orchid Bay. Our oh, vanilla City Skylands build. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And a bit crazy, isn't it? Just kind of been floating around the map here for a little bit before we started the episode today. 90 episodes of this wonderful vanilla city. My vanilla baby, really, isn't it? <laughs> it's been, been so long now. I can't remember what life was like without Orchid Bay around. It just seems to have existed forever. But uh, still a pleasure to play today as much as it was when we first started this whole area. And today's episode is going to be a little bit of a weird one, so I guess we'll just dive straight into it. So of course we know our node count is dwindling, we are now about 800 nodes left. Um, there are some further developments planned for this area through here, which will probably occupy our final few episodes. But what I wanted to do before that, before the node count dwindles away entirely, is to try and use as many of the unit buildings as we possibly can across all of the tabs here. This is excluding monuments, because monuments are a bit ridiculous. <laughs> we might end up using some of them. Maybe the castle or top of hill for one last session, but yeah, either way, that's beside the point. What I want to do today is try and use up, just go tab three tab and see what we can get in. So we'll start out with the god-awful Financial Districts DLC, <laughs> which was terrible. If you guys didn't pick this DLC up, you don't need to. It is the worst one they made. But it does come with some cute little statues and the underground garden plaza. So I think this might pair quite nicely with a sort of courthouse build. Now, we haven't used the courthouse yet either. So I think what we might do is relocate the Science Center from here, because these are certainly downtown assets, right? So, let's get rid of the science center, and we've also got some plazas out here, but nothing precious. So, let's first of all throw down our courthouse building, which is this one here. So, that's pretty much sits and fits, doesn't it? It's not too far away there. But the courthouse is an asset we haven't used, of course, in Orchid Bay, but it's very nice. Super big downtown boy, isn't it? I actually really like it. Uh, now, this will probably pair quite nicely, I think, with some of the Financial Districts DLC stuff as well, which, again, in protest of the Financial Park, it is probably the worst, but we want to use them at least while we're in Orchid Bay, trying to use everything at least once. Uh, I do wonder, actually, are these pathways extendable? They are not, although can we clip into them? Let's find out. Uh, not really. I really hate when buildings do that. It's such a tease, isn't it? <laughs> just let me, let me draw it in. Maybe let's just come to grid and road and here, get it as close as we can. There we go. I'll accept that. <laughs> That's slightly better. Cool. So I'll we'll have the courthouse there. Um, this does put the Galveston Tower in the way, uh, which I think we will move because we've got a load of buildings here, which is just kind of generic Hearts of Korea zoning. I'm not really precious about this. So we're going to move Galveston over to here, which actually fits and sits perfectly, doesn't it? That's quite nice there. And then I just want to basically reform this entire plaza space. So let's have this one. Oh, pain. <laughs> just not going to... Snapping to sell with assets is the bane of my CS existence, everyone. It really is. So, can we then bring in some airport apronage, I wonder, because they would be most welcome in this particular area. Hopefully we can, and we can indeed. Delicious. That is what we like to see, isn't it? We'll have one there, a couple small ones there. I think with the concrete around it, you won't be able to tell it's not dead central. I guess you sort of can't really, can't you? We can have that there, and if we place the plaza on that space and then can we delete the road you do lose your connection but how about if we just had one up this way instead that should keep you happy fantastic there we go i think i'm a bit happy with that configuration there and that's a bit nicer there isn't it yeah a little bit more central so cool that's two unique buildings down <laughs> in the first build that's fantastic uh, we also have the bronze cow and the bronze panda, which were removed from the front of the stock exchange in favour of the metro plaza. Um, we could bring those back in, or we could put them outside of the courthouse. Why don't we do that? I think we'll put them outside here instead. We'll have one there, and one there, and we'll probably keep up with 
Ah, oh, where I put apronage where I needed. Maybe through there like that. One more through there. Cool. And then more plazas detailing to be done out here as well, of course. That uses up all of them. Besides the International Trade Building, which needs a level 5 stock exchange. How far away from we are that? Not too bad at all, actually. Um, let's have a look at some investment. We never look at this stuff, do we? It looks like Chirpa Crypto might actually be on the rise again. So why don't we buy a little bit of that? Um, let's buy... Actually, no, I'm not going to do that now because I could end up bankrupting myself. <laughs> this is going to be a very expensive episode. Of course, we could always cheese as well, couldn't we? Healthcare service in here. JP Cruises. The very legit company is actually having a horrendous time right now, so why don't we buy all of those shares there? And then we'll see if we can gain on them as the episode goes on. Which, of course, will eventually unlock the uh, last building for us there. Uh, next up we have the treasure hunt these are a little bit more quirky i don't think we're going to get these used maybe we will with the curator's library somewhere but probably not with the plaza of transference and we then come into the european buildings again which are all pretty situational and um, let's have a look through them so there is the sports arena here and there's the government offices which definitely give a legal district vibe and we do have a legal district of course um over by our kind of well it's a campus area really isn't it that we've turned into a part of the city so I reckon government offices are going to be most at home over here, I think, right? Um, I'd love them to be able to face the water, which doesn't look like it's going to be possible. Although I think it will be here. Again, which is another fabulous opportunity to reclaim some nodes. Uh, and we're just going to lose a study hall, but that's absolutely fine. The university education is through the roof in this area. Cool, so we can see here where it's not going to align, is it? Which is really going to grind my gears. So to avoid that, we will misalign the grid. Place it on that one. That gets it pretty much central. Cool, and then we can have that there, hopefully again with a little bit more surface paint so where it makes sense. Now we can have the government offices, which I think blends in very nicely, doesn't it, with the um, School of Law. If anything, that's a, a pairing I hadn't really considered before. And looks like we've got a... British and that is Germany, isn't it? That's definitely Germany. Yeah, it's not Belgium, is it? British and German Ministry slash Embassy here. And that's a that's a match made in heaven, that isn't it? <laughs> that was actually a lot smoother than I thought it would be. So happy days indeed. Yeah, so that uses up that one. Um but we've also got the Gherkin as well. This is This is a difficult one, isn't it? The Gherkin. Where do we want you, I wonder? Then we'll come back to it. Same as well with the Art the Triumph and Brandenburg Gates. We've also got the Eiffel Tower, <laughs> which which does sit and fit there. What stands out horrendously is pretty badly, that one, isn't it? Uh, the Grand Central Terminal, I think, might work quite nicely, actually, with the courthouse here. This one's quite nice, isn't it? Although this would also sit opposite here as well. Which I don't think I'd be averse to, you know. It's just, it's kind of an old style building, isn't it? And this waterfront here is very modern. Our older buildings are over here. We could try and put the underground garden plaza with the modern waterfront and then have the Grand Central Terminal opposite the courthouse. I think that might actually be a more significant pairing. Why don't we try it? So we now have a space here that can also be utilised. We'll have to remember that. Coming back to those European buildings, um, how about yeah, the Oriental Pearl Tower? Let's get rid of the Eiffel Tower. And then we can have the Oriental Pearl Tower in here. Which does sit and fit. So I know this thing is based off of the actual Pearl Tower in Shanghai, I believe, isn't it? And I think in Shanghai, it does just sit up against a waterfront surrounded by skyscrapers, I'm pretty sure. Editing Egg will leave some pictures up for us, I think. But I won't lie, I don't hate that there at all. The other option here would also be to include it around this area of the waterfront here. But again, this is kind of encroaching upon the airspace of the International Airport, which is already under intense scrutiny. <laughs> so I'll try not to 
further trigger the aviation police as much as triggered as they already are in Orchid Bay. Um, I think, I think you know, I think we'll leave it there then. I think we will leave it there. Um, I don't mind that at all. I think that's quite nice, isn't it? How's our trade doing? Can we turn me check? We made any money? Uh, two grand. It's not a vast amount, is it? I suppose. A really small gain, actually. That's fine. Yeah, just, just, just sell it. Uh, Chip of Crypto has just had a massive crash, so maybe now seems like a good time to buy. Oh, it's incredibly expensive. And the arse has just fallen out of the farming industry as well. So, it was a few shares in farming. See if we can make a bit of money off of that. Yeah, okay. We'll have the Oriental Pearl Tower there then. And we also have our traffic park as well. Which is where children come to the traffic park to learn traffic signs and rules. This is a landmark building. Um, this will probably just go nicely in and around a park area, wouldn't it? Maybe where we have some residential. If not actually in and around a few candies build. Because she did kind of build this big sort of park day out for everyone. So maybe we could include it in a few C's build. Um, all the fencing around here. Bee candy is the reason we have no nodes left. <laughs> all this fencing she did. That's why I'm going to have to tell her. Um, if we delete a fence and just have this here next to our car park, how horrendous does this look? We're just going to include it as part of the family park here, near the parking. I don't hate that at all, and I think we will bring some fencing around the back of it. It's farm fencing here, isn't it? So let's just do this one here. Let's redraw this stretch. We can get it in, that is. Uh, yeah, don't think I hate that at all. I think we can have that there, no problem. I think the rest of the European assets, I think they're all too quirky to get in. Especially the Art of Triumph, I just can't envision where this is going to go, you know? <laughs> there are, I think there are just some buildings that are incredibly situational. Yeah, not sure about that one. It's a nice asset there. But probably won't end up being in Orchid Bay, anyway. As is the case with the rest of them, I think. Brandenburg Gate. Maybe we can squeeze it in if we do some more redevelopment. Not sure. Next up is the Tourism and Leisure, where we have yet to use the Fantastic Fountain, which is quite surprising, actually, because I really love this one. Then there's also the Luxury Hotel. Now, this asset is... Shungus, isn't it? It's um, definitely a downtown asset, because it's just such a tall tower. And we could do an episode redeveloping a little bit of our Brooklyn and Queens area. Or oh, Brickland and Keys, I guess it's called, isn't it? <laughs> um, I do want to keep some of this, but maybe everything to the right of the bridge we can redevelop as an episode. Maybe get some taller towers and hotels in and around the stadiums and the stations and stuff. Maybe that's the play here. And I redevelop this older and a grottier tram area into, you know, now gentrified space, etc. So maybe we'll do that as another episode. And maybe we can get the tourism tower in here as well. Kind of looks like it'll fit in that space there, doesn't it? With a couple of road adjustments. So I think we'll save that for that one. We've also got the zoo as well, which is 4,480 a week to upkeep for the zoo. Goodness gracious. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> it's just, uh, what? The tile off. One tile. What an absolute nightmare that is. Could knock this road off, but that's a huge renovation just to fit one building. So I don't think we'll put that on there. Uh, so then in terms of the zoo, do we want to put this one down somewhere? Really, we should have amalgamated this into the Eggs and Legs Wildlife Sanctuary over here. Would have been a good shout. Maybe it's, is it something we can just have like here? Is that going to be massively offensive to all involved? Um, I don't mind it. I don't mind it, I suppose. I think it's alright. It's not the most flattering ever placement we've ever had of a unique building, but... It does blend pretty convincingly into the overall zoo space, doesn't it? I hope this episode is enjoyable as well today, everyone, because we will be revisiting a lot of old builds we've not seen for a long time. Hmm. I think either that or is to have it central with this one here so it lines up with there might be the better play, actually. Why don't we experiment with removing this road? And if it does line up, not in the middle, but... And we can play with a road orientation to change that, which we absolutely will, because that does look a little odd. Um, let's delete 
this one here. This episode's gonna cost an absolute fortune. <laughs> it's easily the most expensive of Orchid Bay's lifetime so far, I think. So we want to line it up against the current gradient, really, with road length on. There we go. That'll alternate the grid. You can have that there and delete that. You will lose your connection, will you? Looks like we can just do a simple stretch of road there. Have that in. Then you need to be reconsidered as well. We can downgrade this into road with wide sidewalks now. And then let's just have that come back up there. Simple as that, I think. And that's all that needs to be, isn't it? Yeah, I think I'm a bit happy with that. So we'll have the zoo there. That uses that one. Which now just leaves those two, which we will do in a redevelopment episode. We haven't really done like a major hotel area, have we? So I think that's what we'll do in that Brick Winding Keys area near the stadium, another episode. Desperately want to get to 100. <laughs> which then brings us on to our pedestrian museums, or pedestrian um, uniques, of which one is the Museum of Postmodern Art. Um, so this one's very quirky. Almost 100% this wants to be in a redevelopment pedestrian area, which we have multiple of across the city now. Uh, we could have it in this one over here. I think it's perhaps better suited maybe over here where we currently have an abandoned building is that oh and it fits and sits there you go match made in heaven <laughs> wonderful so we'll have the museum of postmodern art uh, in and amongst the big redeveloped pedestrian area we have over here which is this is a very colorful building isn't it very colorful but uh, i guess it's postmodern art isn't it right we actually have a museum for modern art in the cities now, <laughs> after years of actually having modern art. Fabulous. Um, we then have the sunken plaza shopping mall, which 500 weekly tourists in a pedestrian area. How on earth have we not hit that yet? Well, what's the biggest pedestrian area in Orchid Bay currently? It has to be probably uh, Luna's Mall. Where's the... um? pedestrian area here the policies is this going to increase people happiness in commercial zones sugar ban unlocking yeah yeah that's that's a weird one i honestly don't know how we've not hit that one yet so if it's still locked we're not going to get that today 500 weekly tourists in a pedestrian area i'm re really surprised we haven't hit that um, unless there's a pedestrian area larger than that one. I thought this one would have triggered it, even. Just with the tourists that walk through here in a week. But clearly not. We'll have to wait for that one to unlock. And then also, likewise, with the office zone landmark as well, which we haven't even remotely come close to hitting that one, have we? 2,000 jobs in a pedestrian area. How is that 0 of 20? Is that because I have no office zoning in a pedestrian area anywhere? Yeah, we've obviously done the commercial zone one, haven't we? Okay, so the remaining plaza uniques are actually locked off to us. Um, we'll have to do some further pedestrian developments to unlock those. Likewise with the football stadium... Stadium is its own build, I think, isn't it? I don't think there's anywhere we can squeeze this in. The downtown already has two stadiums anyway. So we probably won't end up using the match day pack here, I don't think. Concerts has already been used. Uh, everything apart from the city arc has not been moved. So where does the city arch go? Now this is... This is an interesting one. Where do we put the city arch? Oh, does it sit and fit there? This actually has a buff, doesn't it, this building? Yeah, it increases the tourism capacity by 5%. Don't forget as well, guys, if you are missing any of the buildings you see today, get them on Instant Gaming below. Helps support the channel, and you'll get them for ridiculously cheap now, too. I mean, that's tailor-made for it, isn't it? The main arterial bridge into downtown. We can have the city art there. Perfect. Happy with that. That uses that one up. Level 2. Everything has been used. Level 3. We're just missing the Colossal Order offices. Oh, now these are. This is definitely one of the more difficult assets to use, isn't it? It doesn't sit with the plaza either. <laughs> you absolute. Hey, in the ass. It's always one tile, isn't it? Everything's one tile off. It always is. My entire life has been one tile off since I <laughs> started playing City Skylines. 
Um, maybe as part of the redevelopment with the tourism, we could have this over here. Maybe some larger, kind of chunkier, more obnoxious buildings that everyone in the city hates. They're like, why the hell did they tear down those old apartments with this monstrosity? Maybe we can have that. Because uh, the skyline really falls away here, doesn't it? So yeah, I think maybe we'll include that one as a redevelopment then, in that case. Just thinking out loud. Uh, now we come up to level 4. Which does present us with some rather interesting options. So we also have the business park here too, which again... For me, screams waterfront. Oh, come on. <laughs> Would you look at that? Right, we'll go, we're going to put the business park here with the underground garden plaza. This is going to happen whether it likes it or not. Right, we do have a fire safety center here. Let's remove that. I think maybe we just remove this road connection. How how badly does that isolate that suburb? It, it does isolate it quite a bit, actually. So can we establish that arterial connection? Got all these little... Well, remember these? What are these even called? Carports? Yeah, before we had when they were car parking. That's how old Orchid Bay is now. <laughs> this is nuts. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. Let's put the business park in. And we can get it to go straight across there. Which I do like. Then how about we just reform up this road structure then? So let's bring the road back down, connect back in. And then just go across there and we'll probably pedestrianise that, I imagine, while we've got the pedestrian road nearby. Cool. Airport aprons around this plaza again too. I actually really like that. <laughs> That's really nice. It almost frames stock exchange as well, doesn't it? Cool. Real nice bit of just sort of plaza infrastructure there, isn't it? I think if it's today's episode as well, it's going to help us all discover some new unique building combinations, isn't it? For example, Business Park and Financial Districts Plaza is a most welcome combination. I really like that. Cool. That's one more down. <laughs> and we're glad we just dropped below a million for the first time in forever as well. Super expensive episode, everyone. Um, the Observatory is almost certainly a mountaintop build if we don't include it here. In and amongst the research station. But I think I want to do something individual with the observatory probably on its own peak i think maybe so i think we'll leave that one out for right now we are then gre greeted with the opera house which is a pretty unique asset isn't it it's a it's a pretty weird looking one this one the opera house let's double check on our stocks as well uh yeah we'll we'll sell those why not they're on the rise um, how far are we off that next financial one now? Oh, it's the level of the stock exchange, isn't it? Yeah, we've still got 500 grand's worth of investments to go through here. So let's, um... Let's just buy stuff that's crashing, because it will eventually go back up. There you go, greasy gasoline's just absolutely nosedive, doesn't it? Let's buy... A few million worth of those. See if we can get them to go back up. But did that just spike as I bought it? It did, didn't it? Damn it. <laughs> we'll hopefully make some profit on that anyway. As I say that, it goes to a minus 28,000 loss. Of course it does. But either way, onwards and upwards. Uh, so level four. Uh, we are also greeted with the Opera House, aren't we? Which is what we were looking at. Uh, I reckon this is probably most suited to here. Somewhere along the waterfront of the Five Rings Park, perhaps. Why don't we see if we can drop this in and around these towers. We do have some zone in here around Becky's bars, which I wouldn't mind redeveloping because this area of the skyline really drops away here now, doesn't it? So I do want to maintain some of the road here. So let's maybe just say we those buildings there. So everyone else here maintains a connection. And then we'll rip all of this out here. So you can become Opera House, and which is an asset I haven't placed, I think. Now, did we even use this in Palavan? I don't think we did, did we? I'm pretty sure we didn't. But having it as a bit of a waterfront asset here is very eye-drawing, isn't it? I don't hate that at all, I don't think. Check it on the approach into the city as well. Yeah. 
don't mind that at all. I think it's quite nice, actually. Very modern area of the city, this one, isn't it? Yeah, so that brings that in. We are then left with the Pyramid of Safety, which is a very, very unique building. Probably would have gone quite nice in here, actually, in this space. But otherwise, I think because it's so glassy and modern, why don't we save it for our tourism hotel development here? Where we will also try and squeeze in some more of the actual um, hotels from the DLC as well. So we'll save Pyramid of Safety for here. Uh, then we have the Sea Fortress, uh, which increases the ship and airport traffic tourist capacity by 5%, which is actually quite useful. Um, of course, this has to be near the sea, without stating the obvious. But where indeed near the sea it goes is the question. Mm. Not a huge love of it there, I won't lie. How about just here by the park? Having it out on the waterfront there. I think the only place I can really get it in right now is the old um, Hickory Boulevard over the, the man made pier over this way. Which. And it, it just looks very awkward here, doesn't it? It definitely needs its own. its own road. Sea Fortress then, I think, has to wait. I think we have to wait to get this one in. This has to be probably a live stream job, I think, to get that one in. I think maybe before Ogre Bay finishes, we will definitely have another live stream here. And finish off things like that. So those three remaining buildings we can't use here. That's fine. Uh, next up is level 5, where we are greeted with the Academic Library. Which again is a very old looking asset, isn't it? Super kind of historical vibes here. Which would have gone rather nicely, I think, with the courthouse. It could also work very nicely with our legal waterfront here as well, um, which I wouldn't mind giving it a go. And it's it's a bit of a chungus, but... I reckon with a bit of jiggery-pokery, to quote Granddaddy Biffa, I reckon we might be able to get it in here, whilst also reclaiming further nerds. Yes, please, everyone. We are going to lose office space, which is fine. I can deal with that. Let's just remove all these frames. And why don't we have our academic library here, which again does sit and fit. We're just going to upgrade, I think, some of the roads to be a little fancier to help draw more attention to the front of it. Let's get a little tree lining through this way. And hopefully you will not annoy me and just play fair. I'm going to road length here too. And then let's remove the zoning around the back here. How do we feel about the academic library here? It really settles in with the um, School of Law, doesn't it? This, this is a campus asset, of course, the academic library. But honestly, I don't mind it there, actually. It's quite nice, isn't it? It's a little kind of like medium rise, larger, chunkier building. And then as you kind of spin around, you're getting these kind of older stone vibes, which really helps blend this district together. So we'll have that one there. I don't think we're going to have time to put it into a botanical garden build. I just don't think we've got the node count for it. And then we arrive at the Science Center. Aviation Club will be in the new district up in the valleys um, over this way. So we don't need to worry about that one. Uh, Science Center, definitely a downtown building. Wouldn't mind having this one in and around the waterfront somewhere. It would also fit into this little district over here, but would involve us removing a little bit of residential, which, to be honest, isn't massively themed with the district anyway. But then we could get the science centre in here. Our uh, helicopter stops. Get a bit more use now. Nice. Could see the metro around here getting used since we did that episode a few weeks ago. Uh, yeah, we could put a science centre here. We would lose our crematorium, which I do really like, but in the idea of getting everything used here. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Get rid of these houses. They are being evicted. So at least it's in the name of the science, right? It's not like it's some kind of solar shopping centre. At least it's for the greater good. And it sits and fits up against the waterfront. I actually really like that. That's quite nice, isn't it? 
Cool. We do lose some spice around the back. How many tiles is that? Oh. <laughs> Where is node controller when you need it, right? Um, okay. I think we will just actually bring those back in. It's going to make sense to connect in the um, pathways at the back of the science center there, isn't it? So let's have that one go like that. I think I'm happy with that. Wonderful. Oh, look how these buses are doing. Uh, yeah, yeah, not too bad. It's okay. Cool. Science center is down. Uh, let's also now have a look at... Ooh, the high interest tower. Now this is definitely one of the more difficult ones to use. Very, very thick. It's like a wide, wide boy. Possibly along the waterfront. It'd fit here, you know, next to the opera house if we could. I mean, I'd hate to. This is named after a patron, isn't it? Yeah, this is Becky's bars, but Becky's bars are a little bit seedy and due for redevelopment, so we could just rename it to Becky Towers or Be Becky Heights. I'm not sure. Hopefully, Becky isn't going to mind <laughs> if she does. A thousand apologies to you, Becky. We will bring you a large development. Um, I'd like some parking, I think, between these buildings rather than having them all in a row. I mean, we might not even like this. Let's have a look at it first. Again, another asset discovery, right? High interest tower and the twin towers from the Korean pack sit really nice together, don't they? I have a blue tower vibe going on. Uh, but all in all, it's not making me feel sick, which is usually a good sign. I've got this little property I did here, little umbrellas in the, in the flower bed, a uh, sandpit. I love this park. Very nice. I think I'm happy with that. I hope you guys are as well. <laughs> I'm sure there's some people that are like, yes, egg, that's great. And others are going to be like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Let me get that away. Next up, we have the Finks of Scenarios. Now, this is definitely one of the weirder buildings in the game. And it is not going there. If that's going to go anywhere, I think it's going to go in the Hotel redevelopment in the Brickwind and Keys area here as we rip this out. So we'll have to wait and see for that, I think. Uh, after that, so yeah, those are all fine. This brings us up to level six unit buildings where we have... A stadium, which is a really weird looking asset again, plus the Cathedral of Plentitude, which again, I think is so unique, it's not going to go in Orchid Bay. We use this, of course, in, in Novaria as Peak 15's ultimate kind of spire. I don't think we're going to get it in here. Uh, the Statue of Colossalus would be quite good, though. Uh, this does increase the save of tourists in our city by 20%. Um, I reckon we can certainly get this one in, right? Why don't we? This will probably go nicely actually by that pier where we have the other one. Can I get you to connect there? You won't, which is fine. We could probably remedy that though, can't we? Maybe? Try. Yeah, now too close to the key, isn't it? Just too close to the key. In that case, then, I guess we could just pop it there. That would also work, wouldn't it? Just feels a bit odd facing inland though, doesn't it? It kind of wants to look out towards the sea. But that's okay. We will just relocate the bus. He can just turn around there now, which will probably change again in the future. Let's have this one come in. We can delete that space there. I have that one connecting. Yeah, you're just not happy, are you? Cool. So that uses the statue of Colossalus, which is wonderful. Stadium and Cathedral, I don't think, are going to be used. Which then leads us into the wonderful world of content creator packs, for which there isn't that many buildings left in here either. Um, so let's head... Oh yeah, we also have this space here, don't we? This is to be redeveloped as well. Which gives us some more opportunity. Maybe we can get the, the stadium in here or something. I guess we'll see. Trains are very busy through here, aren't they? What are you? You're a commuter train. You're going to Sharon. We can maybe afford to reduce the... Yeah, it's really busy line, this, isn't it? I don't think we're going to reduce any vehicles there. 
Uh, so we have used none of the Art Deco buildings, of course, which are all skyscrapers, so they're all downtown assets. Um, the Majesty, I wouldn't mind having it, actually. I do actually quite like this asset. And you won't go there, which is fine. You might go there, though. Which I would like to explore. Let's delete this road here. I think I'm likely to try and rehome the Majesty, to be honest. But for right now, I'm going to leave it in there. Uh, next up is Pinal Street, which I think will end up being left out. Because this is one of the tallest assets in the game. It essentially is the same height if you include the antenna as the Six River Centre, and I don't want anything to be bigger than that. So, Penal Street probably will be excluded, which then leads Eddie Cavanago, which is kind of a mid-rise, isn't it? Probably more suited to this area of the skyline, maybe. Let's have a look where we might be able to squeeze this one in. Now, I've never truly been happy with this corner here, to be honest. So if we delete you lot. I wonder if we're not having that one in. That's probably not a bad place for it, you know. Yeah, that sits and fits, doesn't it? Love this transport hub. Happy with that one. Go there as well. That'll bring some more tourists through the transport hub as well, having more unique buildings there. Uh, then all this stuff is done to let's go through by pack. So Art Deco, we're not using Pinal Street. High Tech has all been used. Uh, modern Japan. We've only got the resort hotel left, which will probably go in our hotel redevelopment over here. So we'll save that one for that. Seaside Resorts, there's only two assets left of which we're saving for something else. So that's fine skyscrapers how many of these do we have left to go still quite a few and i know we won't end up using all of these and if we still have downtown redevelopments to come then i would rather wait i think to use those in case i need any more towers so we've only got what's that like six or eight more towers to go parts of korea has all been used shopping malls has all been used Sports venues, we've got one, two, three, four stadiums left to do. Oh, that's a shame, isn't it? I don't think we'll get all the stadiums in. Just trying to visualise where we might have the room for more stadium complexes. Maybe... Maybe over here. Have to flatten this land out, though, to use that. Not friendly to a stadium right now. Why is over here, maybe? Maybe inside the grass, the forested hills here on the outside of uh, Swank Square. We could maybe bring a stadium in. There's just there's so many of them already. This might be another good opportunity for a stadium here on the waterfront by the highway. By the old downtown. Yeah, I think, again, that's probably kind of falling into a live stream build, maybe. So I think we'll save the stadiums. Hey, we then arrive at the Africa in miniature one. Right, where we have the Oren Miller Towers. Which just kind of looks like a hotel to me. So I think we'll save this for our hotel redevelopment here. Right, the Temple of Sahil. I've no idea where that's going. The Conference Center is a really nice asset, actually. And if we're going to be doing a big hotel complex here, then the Conference Center would make sense to go near there, right? Yeah, a place for trade shows, expos, conferences, and events. That's definitely wants to be near the hotels, doesn't it? So we'll save that one as well. The Royal Museum <laughs> is definitely one of the more interesting assets. And again, to just reference the animals on it, it's probably most likely a zoo asset, isn't it? Um, I wouldn't mind blending this in. How wide is it? Yeah, I kind of like this to be almost in the park itself which we could do by deleting a side gate which i think we will it's just it's such a, a weird build it either goes here or we drop it into few candies build again because it's all very kind of family orientated theme park vibes around here isn't it or it could go in the amusement park in the downtown over here i'll be able to get it in this space but we do have another Alpha Karasa over here as well. I think we'll leave it in the zoo for right now, but this one it's just 
It's so strange. <laughs> it's just such an odd, an odd building. Maybe I'll say, can we have it like here? Something like that. I think I might be a bit more comfortable with, and then let's rebuild um, the fence through this way. I'm not massively bothered about having the um, park gate here, and maybe we can actually reinstate the pathway so it looks like the museum is actually another zoo entrance. How about that? I think I can get away with that on there. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> it most certainly is not going anywhere else. Uh, we then come onto the Sahil monument, which is quite nice actually. Probably pair that with the Fantastic Fountain, I imagine. Uh, then we do have some more towers left here. So there's the Gold Tower, which is very unique, and again, kind of falls into more of a a mid-rise category, doesn't it? So why don't we have you in and around this district here? I bet we can squeeze you in here somewhere, can't we? Yeah, how about on the corner to replace some of this commercial, maybe? But exactly where is yet to be found. How about here? This is just a regular commercial building, isn't it? We have this one here. This does loop back in from a pathway coming out of the park, which we just reinstate as such. I mean, the skyline's so varied now anyway, isn't it? That sounds like me making an excuse to keep it there, doesn't it? <laughs> I think it does. Would you look at that? Even the police have turned up. They're like, hmm, even the police aren't sure about that. It does look pretty unique there, though, doesn't it? Or Metro going past it, too. Okay, I think we'll keep it there. I'm not massively against it. Definitely one of the weirder buildings, but, you know, I can live with it. Uh, we've then got a couple of hotels, which, again, luxury hotels one and two, probably want to be brought into the hotel redevelopment, but they're a little small for here. I'm kind of thinking they may be a little bit better suited for sort of this space here, you know? We're going to drop you in here. We can actually get both next door. Although that does destroy my little elevated walkway. I don't want to do that. Let's make sure we bring that one back in. There we go. But just a couple of little hotels that hopefully we can get a perspective from the pool and just look out over the ocean. And sit in some different shaped buildings there. These used to be zonable buildings if you remember but there was a big update to um, Africa in miniature after it released. I believe after some backlash people kind of kicked off about it saying it was a bit a little bit shit but um, yeah it's been patched now. So those buildings that were zonable are now unique. Uh, cool, so that leaves only the quirky assets from Africa in Miniature, which will likely make appearances in hotel complexes somewhere in the future. Um, and then, that's it. That takes us up to the Railroad of Japan, which only has one unique building. So there we go, there's only a handful left of unique buildings now. Uh, which is pretty interesting, and Orchid Bay's skyline has definitely changed a bit. That Pearl Tower is definitely a new eye draw, isn't it? Alongside the high interest boy. So I think next episode, maybe, um, we will redevelop this little bit of Brooklyn and Keys, kind of this little square here, if you like. Into a big downtown hotel development sort of vibe. How are our shares doing? 55 grand loss, perfect. <laughs> Just... Exactly what I needed. Exactly what I needed, isn't it? Um, looks like forest industry is back on the rise as well, isn't it? Maybe we can buy that while it's cheap. Yeah, so I'll wait for my <laughs> for my investments to grow a little bit, hopefully. Yeah, forest industry is back on the rise there now, isn't it? A huge drop. Holy smokes, isn't it? Not something we ever check this. I'd also be really interested to know, for those of you that actually bought the Financial Districts DLC, did you get any fun out of this was it okay there's a 92 grand gain should we sell now oh 71 it's dropping again yeah let's sell it let's sell it while we're high cool and that'll bring us up to 
uh, yeah, still got found. I'll do I'll do that off camera. So next episode when we have to do the redevelopment, we'll have that international banking tower unlocked, which will bring everything together. I think. Nah. Uh, yeah. But otherwise, guys, I think we'll leave it there. There's not really too much need for a detail in time lapse today. So uh, we will just enjoy some farewell cinematics of the four editions of Downtown Orchid Bay. But thank you so much for watching. Really fun today. And it's hope you've enjoyed revisiting some older areas of Orchid Bay. And maybe seeing some of your old favourite builds as well. And hopefully I haven't destroyed any of your favourite builds either. <laughs> by adding in some very unique assets in today's episode. But either way, please do enjoy some cinematics. A massive shout out to all the patrons supporting the channel. And if you do want to get involved in helping the channel and supporting it, links down to Instant Gaming and Patreon are the best ways to do it. Get yourself a little bit more egg in your life if that's what you're after. Otherwise, please do enjoy today's cinematics of today's weird or could buy episode. But otherwise, let's thank you all so much indeed for watching. And thank you for watching 90 episodes. If you've made it to the very end of episode 90, you guys are the elite <laughs> of or could buy. So thank you for still watching it all these... Oh, it's actually multiple years now, isn't it? I guess we're... 20 months, 21 months into Orchid Bay. Big old tea. Either way, please do enjoy. But let's thank you all so much for watching. And as always, enjoy the rest of your day. <laughs>